Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So Halloween is literally in a couple days, and I'm here bringing you another Halloween look. So if you can hear the fan once again, I'm sorry, but I haven't even started filming. I'm already sweating. Um, so I have here a napkin that I'm gonna be patting myself, so hopefully the paint will stay. This look is inspired by Alex Faction, which around this time of year, I'm excited to see what he comes up with when it comes to Halloween makeup. So let's go on with the video. I did practice this look already, so I'm going to show it to you real quick here. I posted it on Instagram. I covered my face though, so I'm going to show you the one with my covered face. And I put it with this song. So let's pull up the picture again so I can show you what exactly it is. And it's a look that he did last year. I think I'm ready to start, guys. First things first, I'm going to show you what I'm going to use. So I'm going to use this cream base makeup. And I'm going to be using these brushes. From the last video, I did have a little breakout. I got pimples in a couple of places. I still have one here and one right here that I need to get rid of. I don't know what it is with the cream base makeup, but when it comes to the black one, uh, doesn't really stick much to the skin, especially I have really oily skin, so that's not good. And then the white one doesn't stay as well, so the red one sticks perfectly on my skin, which I love. And now we're gonna go dipping in here, making the entire face red. Oh my god. Please help me, God. Let's go. As you can see, oh, it's cold. As you can see, it sticks clean. I love how it sticks to the skin. I'm worried about this area here because I do sweat up here, so it's just pretty. I'm gonna have to get a freaking um, facial when I'm done filming these videos because oh, all of these, the cream, all this makeup does not the skin. I'm gonna also be going down on the neck as you can tell I'm wearing a red shirt kind of go with this whole look. So this is a very simple look. To me, it's a very simple look. It's not as difficult as the other ones that I've seen. So if you really want to do something real quick, fast, and go to like a Halloween party or anything like that, the only problem here is me having facial hair. That's what makes it difficult for me. Anyways, what's going on in our lives? Um, let me talk to you a little bit about what's going on. Uh, I've been on a hunt for a photographer the past couple of days, or like for the past week or so. Yeah, I don't have a photographer anymore. Luckily, recently I connected with these old high school friends, which is so crazy and exciting to be talking to them again. Oh my God, it's been years since the last time we even got together and we even talked. It's been years, so I'm excited that they're back in my life. We went out to dinner, we talked, and just reminiscing of the old days and memories that we used to have. The history we have together. So shout out to my friend Ellie and Jocelyn. My friend Jocelyn is willing to take my pictures, so we're going to go for, uh, have a photo shoot on Friday. I have an express campaign to do and a couple other pictures that I want. So yeah, I'm excited to do all of that and 
and get with them and see their artistic side. So the funny thing about me and my friend who's taking my pictures, that me and her met photography class in high school. And me and her would always go have photo shoots, like just us two, <laughs> us two high schoolers at the park smoking cigarettes. Oh my God. We just, we have a lot of history together and it was fun to kind of bring it all back and um, talk about it and remember all of the good times that that we had together. I mean, we're hang, uh, the last time I vlogged, I was going to vlog with them, but our conversation was so good and it got so funny. It got so, so deep that I didn't want to like post that online. They were okay with coming out on camera, but I didn't want to post all of our deep conversations on there. So I did film a little bit here and there of us going to dinner and having drinks and whatnot. Life is good so far. Oh my god, I was going through some problems with my email. Apparently, I was my storage was full. I had a free space on my emails. I mean, I had 513,000 emails. So it was ridiculous. And I wasn't receiving emails or I was not able to send emails. So um, I was contacting co companies through a new email that I made, going crazy. Um, but... I finally knew what the issue was and it was for me to free space on, to free up some space on my Google account and buy space to, uh, to continue receiving emails on my own account. <sighs> but yeah, I wasn't receiving emails or I wasn't able to send emails and I was panicking because I know there's campaigns that I was, um, that I had to, um, agree on or double check or... I was waiting for like a response or they were waiting a response from me and so oh finally I feel like now that I have my emails back and I'm receiving emails I feel like I can be in business again you know like work again I felt and I was like that for a week and a half can you imagine like a whole week without receiving anything and not knowing what the hell was gonna was happening I've never had a situation like that happen to me because now I need to double check my emails and delete the ones that are not, you know. So I was like going crazy deleting um, emails. I had emails from 2012. I think my face is red enough. What do you guys think? Is it red enough? Is it red enough? This is definitely not the, the way you would use these brushes, but since I don't know anything about makeup, that's how it's ending for me. It's like... If any of you live in Arizona you want me to do your Halloween makeup, call me, I'm a professional. Yeah, right. Definitely not a professional, but hey, you do want me to do your makeup, I'll do it. Mm, my face is hella red. Um, I'm gonna be doing the black detailing on the face now. I am going to do uh, like this, the chin look here, a tiny brush, I don't know if you can see that, and just do that. Same thing on this side. For some reason, I'm good I'm doing this side of the face, but this side is all horrible. Right? So let's see. Not bad, Tony. Then we're doing the hair outline. Something like that. Uh, told you I mess up on the sun. I usually say it doesn't matter. The more messier it looks, the better. But 
and this one, it kind of does, because it's going to be the shading of the black. There we go. I kind of got it. The eyebrows, oh, this is the part I'm scared of, because I have to do a thing up like this, and then I have to match it on the other side. <sighs> I'm scared, Sarah. Let's do the eyes. Should we do the shading already or should we just wait? Okay, let's just go for it. Fuck it. I'm gonna grab it and kind of go up like this. Getting the horns detail into it since I don't have any horns, I'm gonna make that into horns. That looks like horns. Hey, bitch, I got it. <laughs> Who are you calling a devil? We're gonna shade in the eyebrows to make them look black. Just don't bust a Frida eyebrow, cause... Yes, we all know. My camera... My camera turned off, so I don't know where it stopped. So you're trying to... Finish this look real quick. What the hell? This is definitely not looking how I thought it was going to, but we're trying, guys. I don't know why my camera stuff. What the hell? That's a first. You see how this side looks a lot lighter than this side here? I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Yeah, this side is removing the paint because I'm sweating. Uh, okay, we're getting there. Let's finish the rest of our eye. Oh, I hate the feeling of stuff in my head. <laughs> I know, I know. I need to do the my nose is ready. A little nose trick here, which I'm gonna do. Like pyramid. Pyramid on the nose, it's not really looking like his, but I'm freaking myself out because I'm looking at that guy from the way. Like a pyramid on the nose, I don't know if you can see what I just did there. What we're gonna do now is just shadowing around our shadow areas. I think I'm pretty much done. I'm not gonna touch anything anymore. Anyways guys, so this is my look of the demon. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I'm probably gonna do one more Halloween look. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Anyways, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and become a member of this family. You can follow me on social media, I'll leave everything down below. And with that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next Halloween vlog.